Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge, and we will be underway. I'm Peter Drury, and joining me here, our experts, Jim Beglin. Cheers, Peter. It's a privilege to be here. It really is. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? It has to be the brains of the operation, Tony Kroos. He's another one of the elite passers in world football, and his consistency remains high at, at both club and international level, and one of the first picks in the team. Yes, getting the best out of him will count for so much. It's a brilliant interception. Good clearance and very necessary. He's in! of the outcome it is good to see someone running at the defense like that well, that looks a foul yep referee's given it yeah, Juventus it will seem a, a, a little too far chance. out this will probably be a uh, dink far post It's anyone's ball. It's hit the upright. Tried the volley, but no. Well, to execute a first-time volley like that with power, I think you need to get everything in, in perfect order, and not quite. It's been such a positive start. I think the next step has to involve tucking one away. The move that looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Some astute defending to ensure they got no further. Too much on it, and that's the keepers. Looks to slip it through. It's come through, and he's had a quick look inside. Who's going to make this theirs? They've got it back as soon as they gave it away. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo passes it through. Gets good distance on it. Juventus get it back again. Hit into the middle. He's there to get rid. Did well to step in there, that was more than necessary. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Van Dijk. Well played, he saw that coming. Victory now would mean so much. He's not played the ball, that's a foul. That's a fine save. Well, I thought his starting position was good, and that helped the keeper to judge the flight of the ball and, and deal with it well. That's a throw. Looks like a good ball through. Can he finish? And the second time. Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. Cristiano Ronaldo! He's got away with one there. I love to see a team closing down from the front like that, and I think they did brilliant to win it back and get the shot away. Tries a through ball. It's all about the quality of the delivery, and they come away with nothing. Modric pumps it upfield. He's got it on the right now. What's on? He's gone for it! 
He's missed, but not by that far. Oh, listen, I think you can understand at times that the pace of the game pressures players into split-second decisions, and sometimes they just make the wrong one, and I think he would have been better placing that. Goal! Juventus! That really was a thing of beauty, curled in effortlessly. You know, I'm not going to be hard on the goalkeeper because that moved all over the place on its journey. Juventus take the... He ran himself into trouble there, free kick given away. Deftly done. He's through. Yeah, he's offering an apology for that. He needed to deliver a better ball. Messi. Now the pass. Chance! Tony Kroos proves too strong there. Keeps everyone guessing. And he's whipped it in low. And he's there to hoof it away. So what now? It's Hammers! It's a loose ball. It's the whistle for half-time. How would you review the first half? Well, I think the scoreline offers a fair reflection of the level of endeavour from both teams. I think they lead because they did most of the probing. A little more penetration, I think, should help them get the job done. Juventus having to have the lead in a tight old game. Half-time, 1-0. Two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe. That is just remarkable, the amount of bend he got on that. You know, what was notable in that, Peter, was the fact that he didn't try to blast it. He chose placement instead and delivered a peach. Juventus get themselves a two-goal cushion. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Marcelo. Looks to slip it through. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. Peter, it was all about the shimmy. The little shimmy was the key in allowing him just to create that shooting room, and it's a pity he failed. James Rodriguez, Modric boots it upfield. Now, can they make something of it? They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No, it's probably cautionary. Uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind. And that has put paid to that. Daniel Alves, it's a long forward pass. It's Danny Alves. He's got away with one there. Gabriel. Juventus hasn't yet dipped into their subs. Daniel Alves did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. Passes it through. And the whistle's gone, presumably for offside. I'm not sure about that call, you know, but we get to see replays. Final checks on the touchline. 
a change about to occur. Away from immediate danger. That's good progress he's made on the ball. Where to next? That'll be a throw in. Tries a long pass towards the front. Sergio Ramos gets it back. Daniel Alves is effectively being marked out of the game here. Yeah, and they've got to be careful, Peter, that they don't allow their attempt to snuff out the threat now to turn into indiscipline. Still well to tidy up the situation. Looks like a good ball through. Modric plays it in. Really didn't have enough to concern the defence. Well positioned to make that interception. Almost nothing left on the clock here. Juventus are closing in on qualification for the knockout stage. This is promising. Aim forward. Daniel Alves is flagged offside. It may look like a predictable long ball forward, but it's, it's very effective and the run just needs a slight tweak to beat the offside. They look as though they can make this come together. Ribéry. Tries lifting it over. Gabriel gets it away. And he certainly caught him there. It's a free kick. That was one quality pass away from being a very decent chance. Look, and he has been fouled there. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal. He's there. gone for goal! Shoots! He's missed another one. Yeah, they, they should be out of sight, and they're not because of uh, a little sloppiness in front of goal. Modric with the ball through. Has gone out. It's Iniesta! Ball's loose, who's getting there? Four added mitts on the board. Gabriel. Modric is the guilty party there. Well, sometimes a loose foul can trigger a completely different spell of play and uh, it makes even less sense. And he's on his way! Hits one! A oh, great save, real class. Well, I can only add that he's got reflexes that are in perfect working order, Peter. That was very good to watch. How about it? He's come loose. He's had a go! A chance! Loose ball, who's going to get that? Well, he has a bit of a reputation from... And that is that. Juventus have made it through to the knockout stage. They can anticipate the draw and the challenge that lies ahead. So there it is. What struck you most about that? Well, it's a group campaign with significantly more ups than downs for me and a big step achieved to take the pressure off for what remains. They're in a great position now.